It's vitally important that one learns to assert oneself in a loud, clear, adamant voice that's strong in tone, that's declarative in presentation, that is assertive in a very optimistic and confident way. And a presence, you train for this, that demonstrates you are a force to be contended with, not someone or something to be taken for granted or, be, or to be sold cheap. You have to focus, you have to concentrate, and you have to know the art of encounter and confrontation in the now. And you have to be, you must make the decision before you can do anything to be fully responsible and in charge of everything you're saying and doing in the now, how you present, and also the results you're getting. And you have to be willing to say at all times, I did it. I did it to me. I'm responsible for it. I did it to me. And then always ask the question, what made me do it? Or why did you do it? What made you do it? You have to be able and willing to give an account for everything you've said and done. Why did I do it? And you have to be able to be your most ruthless accuser. I cannot reiterate that enough. Your most ruthless accuser make the most powerful case against yourself, and I mean totally. I would go to the phenotype, that's how I look in, in, in my, my posture, my body language, my facial constructs, what I'm saying, and the tone of voice I'm saying, it, the expression on my face. I have to be totally, 100% aware of everything I'm doing. That means listening to yourself in and out. I have to be totally aware, 100% of everything I'm saying, everything I'm doing. What I look like. I have to be aware of where I'm at. What are the protocols that I'm responsible for? What are the legal aspects here? And remember, the only thing that matters is the practical issues. We work toward a clock time. Not a person, not a subjective time. There's deadlines. You have to have incentive and motivation for everything you say and do. You have to be able to give yourself your own pep talk. You have to train yourself and be totally self-contained. And in that sense, don't need me, don't need anyone, in that sense. And you have to be 100% exteriorized in what you say and do in the now. You don't leave any, in other words, like not leaving anything behind. When you finish talking, win or lose doesn't matter. I feel cleansed inside myself because I have purged myself in the now. I was what I was with no fear and no hesitation and no intimidatability and no embarrass embarrassment ability, uh, capacity. I gave it all I had, 100%, then I asked for much more, and I did it in the now. I was present in the now. Now is reality, now is power, now is definition, now is clarity, now is all that matters. Now is new. Now is a happening that needs to be given an account of, that needs to be scrutinized and looked at very closely. A man has to be aware of himself. He has to be able to listen to himself, watch himself, and always be able to give an account of himself. What did I say? Why did I say it? How did I say it? How is very important. With what posture, with what body language, you have to feel inside yourself from the inside out. Yeah, 
always expose yourself and then expose your opponent. Getting to the real issues and the real human dasein, human realities behind the issues. I'm not interested in some trivial conversation. I'm not interested in warm fuzzies. I'm not interested, you have a nice day, I'll have a nice day. You smile, and I'll smile right back at you. And you have a nice day. I don't care about any of that. That doesn't matter what I order. That's your trivial garbage that will disappear. That's just pleasantries. 90% of our existence, social existence, I believe, is nothing but trivialities. Minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes at the most. Anybody can fake a charisma. Anybody can fake a personality for five minutes. You put your mask on. The problem is, who are you when you take your mask off? Who are you when you look in the mirror with all your clothes off and look at yourself from every angle? Who are you then? What are you then when you're out in a cold New York night sitting on the park bench, the wind blowing 22 miles an hour, Temperature, 28 degrees, cold though with the wind blowing through you. Who are you then? What are you then? That's the man I'm talking about. Nobody lies to the hawk. Nobody can lie to the hawk.